This is exactly what I envisioned when we first started talking about moving out of the city. A river rock base and 20 feet high shaved wood logs give this home a very rustic Alaskan look. They did a great job out here. This yard space is great. There's plenty of room for the girls to play. Right out our back door, we can go right into the wilderness. The fire pit is amazing. I can really see our family spending a lot of time doing s'mores, hot dogs, and inviting friends over. There is one trade-off. This house does not have a garage. With an acre and a half of land, maybe there's a spot we can build in later. To add a garage, I'm paying fifty to sixty thousand dollars. You know, that's a large expense, and we haven't even stepped inside the house yet. Interesting. There's a lot of wood paneling in here. I mean, there was wood everywhere. A few hundred dollars of sheetrock put over the wood paneling would completely transform the look of the room. You can work with it. The living room is a place that we can play board games as a family, by the fire, you know, just get that Alaska feel. I really like the windows across the front. It lets in a lot of natural light, but this carpet definitely would need to go. You know, the shag carpet just didn't do it for me. What about the wallpaper? How hard is it to take down wallpaper? Well, it depends on how long it's been up there and how much glue they used. You might have to come over and help take that down. <laughs> yeah. Old wallpaper is one thing, but this kitchen has a split personality. Why do they have two different cabinet types? Well, they also seem to have two different kinds of countertops as well. It looks like they got halfway through a kitchen renovation and uh, decided to keep some of the old cabinets. Well, this is a little strange. I see a lot of renovations being needed, cosmetic improvements, but all in all, I think the space is good. This home features three bedrooms and a bathroom. Wow. This is the master bedroom. It's a little small. I do like the pitched ceiling with the exposed beams. I don't necessarily like the way it looks right now, but I think if we put the sheetrock in here as well and took out the carpet, This feels a little cramped for a master bathroom. Is this the only bath upstairs? It is the only bathroom upstairs. Okay. I like it. Yeah, it's a good size. I think this would be big enough for the girls to share. Downstairs, there are more bedrooms. It's just a good size room. I think they all serve like this. Wow. Whoa. This is unexpected. I thought you said there was only three bedrooms. Well, this is actually not by definition a bedroom. If you were to put in a closet and a window that can be used as a fire escape, this can be called a bedroom. Okay. And that would give you four bedrooms. Well, the option to turn that downstairs extra room into a fourth bedroom is a very viable option. Oh! Nice. I like it. The view is beautiful. You know, we're out in the wilderness. Well, what do you think of the place? I would definitely say this porch and the downstairs were probably my favorite parts. Overall, the house does need some cosmetic updates. Because there's plenty of land to build a detached garage if you guys decide to go that way. Yeah, that's another project. But I'm really excited about the fire pit outside. So I guess what it boils down to is what the price of the property is. The price of this property is $3,000. Really? Oh. Wow. I'm very pleasantly surprised. I was expecting more.